afternoon iFam and welcome back to Sundays with Sarah. Oh my goodness, it has been quite a while since I last did one of these videos and I'm really sorry about that. I won't bother going into reasons or explanations or excuses as to why. If you're part of our main channel, The Ingham Family, then you'll know we've just been quite busy lately and I was hoping to do one last week and the sunshine came out and I was just like, hmm, I film it now and miss the day or I go out and have fun with my family and I really wanted to go out and have fun with my family and your lovely lot on Twitter said go have fun, make sure you do one next week though. So here I am, as promised, doing a episode video Sunday with Sarah just for you guys. So as you can probably tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about how YouTube works, how people make YouTube into their jobs or careers and how basically it all works and you get paid for it because we get asked this question all the time. It's probably our most asked question. We get this question asked at least multiple times every single week. When I asked on Twitter last week if you guys would be interested in hearing a video on this, 90% of you said you would. There was a couple that said, mm, not really too interested in that. And then there was a few of our loyal lovelies that said, I don't know if that's a good idea. It might bring the haters out. You might get a lot of backlash or negative comments. And I thought, oh yeah, maybe we will. Maybe it's not such a good idea. And then after a day or so, I thought, do you know what? I could literally go into a charity shop, give that charity every single thing I owned and some of these people would still find a reason to give their negative opinions or moan about something I didn't do right, blah blah blah. So I thought, you know what? They're not going to change who I am, they're not going to change what I do and I'm not going to not do this video for the 90% of you that want me to do it just in case someone doesn't like what I say. So there you go, I'm doing it and that's that. So the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube actually being a job. Now some people say things like this is not a job and I can't tell you how incorrect you are when you say that. I understand it may not be the hardest job in the world. I understand that surgeons may work harder than daily vloggers. However, what actually is a job? What's a job? So a job is something that you do on a regular basis in order to get paid to pay your bills, to live off. Is that what we do for YouTube? Do we upload these videos every single day in order to get some money to pay off bills? Of course we do, so therefore it's a job. Just the same as footballers play football and earn a living from it, the footballer plays football and that's their job. Or a hairdresser does hair and that's their job. Or someone on phone lines where they sit at a desk all day and answer the telephone, that's their job. Or brain surgeons. Now obviously with jobs there's different kind of um, responsibilities, there's different kinds of pressures and they're all different but that doesn't mean that one's more of a job than the other one. They're all still jobs. If you get paid for it, if you rely on doing it in order to pay your bills, therefore that makes it a job. Now I'm not saying that daily vlogging and doing YouTube is the hardest job in the world. Obviously it's not, not by a long shot and we feel incredibly lucky to be able to say that this is what we do for a living, this is what we do to pay our bills, this is what we do for our job but that doesn't mean to say that it's literally picking a camera up and filming yourself going shopping every day because that's not, that's not as easy as it, as it is if that makes sense and you won't understand that and I don't expect anybody to understand that unless you're doing it. Unless you are a daily vlogger yourself who vlogs good content, regular, like upbeat daily vlogs every single day and puts the effort into it that we put in and the editing and everything behind the scenes, the emails and all the other things I guess that go on that you guys don't necessarily see is amazing, incredible, fantastic but it does still have its pressures and its strains and like in any job I guess, like in any job but 
basically what I'm trying to say is no, this is not a difficult, really hard, intense job, but it does still have its pressures and I guess it's still a job. So the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys is about how you actually make money. I have heard before, not on our channel, but on someone else's channel, um, someone was complaining about it, I won't say who, but someone said something like, I was in a shop and I asked, I got asked to, to sign an autograph from a fan and the mother made a comment on how she subscribed so therefore she's paying my wages and it was quite a rude comment actually and this, this YouTuber was a little bit taken aback by that comment and, and basically it's because people, some people presume that by subscribing to a channel that means you're paying their wages and that's not right at all, you don't actually get paid from subscribers. So we could have a YouTube channel that has 54 million subscribers but unless those 54 million subscribers are actually watching our videos we wouldn't get paid a single penny. So YouTube revenue and the way you earn money on YouTube is actually not by subscribers at all, it's about views. So if you got no views on your channel you're not going to be getting paid anything. And the way you get money is by building your audience and gaining subscribers but in turn creating good content to turn those subscribers into good views. So we've had some of you guys saying things to us like I watch your videos every day but I don't pay to watch your videos so who pays? Who pays you the money? And that's where I guess as creators we take a bit of a step back. We don't actually have any involvement whatsoever or anything to do with who actually pays our videos with regards to YouTube videos and the way it works is when you set up a YouTube account I think about a year ago new rules came in where you couldn't actually earn you couldn't do what's called monetize your videos earn money from them until you had is it 4,000 hours worth of watch time I think it's 4,000 hours worth of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. So when you reach that milestone on your channel, you are then eligible to turn on what's called monetization. And now to do this, you just upload a video, go into the settings and press a button. That's it. That's all you have to do. And when you press that button, you are selecting that you allow adverts to be on your videos. You don't have anything to do with the adverts, YouTube does it all for you, somewhere in a cloud, in an office, in a space, somewhere. Advertisement companies, I think they bid, I could be wrong on that though, I think they bid an amount, someone told me that, who was it that told me that? I can't remember, but they bid an amount of money to put a vid, an advert sorry, at the start of your video. Now, we're talking not even one penny. So, per video, it's not even a penny. It's like 0.3p or something like that to have their advert at the start of your video. So, this hopefully will make you guys understand that it's not just a case of uploading a video and you're a millionaire. You're getting literally like not even one penny per advert. So, you have to build up and you have to put in so much hard work for a long time before you start earning enough money to earn a living off of YouTube and that's where the views come in so if you're getting 100 views per day and even if you got like 1p for all 100 of those videos of those views sorry that you've uploaded that's still only going to be a pound so you really do need to be gaining hundreds of thousands of views on your channel per day, every day, to be earning a decent amount of money from adverts on YouTube. When your channel grows, that does open up other opportunities where you can earn money and things like that. And one of those things is sponsorships and advertisements for other companies. So they will contact you or your management and offer to give you a fee. Sometimes they just offer you the product for free in exchange for you promoting their product on one of your videos and then you get to keep the product. And then that often happens when you've got like, I don't know, maybe like 
I don't want to say figure actually because I might offend someone or I don't know I just don't want to say figure but when you're growing your channel sometimes that's what happens and then when your channel goes bigger and bigger and bigger then you start getting fees offered too so I'll pay you X amount of money if you will promote my product and I think it's so 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 important if you are in this position to really think about what you will accept and what you won't with regards to picking out sponsorships that really you do support because we get offers to promote promote things that I wouldn't necessarily buy and it doesn't matter how high the fee is I can accept the fee and promote something that number one I don't agree with number two I don't actually like and I wouldn't buy myself and number three my audience wouldn't like or wouldn't have anything in common with because if you start accepting sponsors because it's a great fee in the short term yeah you got a great you got a great fee for promoting something but in the long term your audience isn't going to have faith in you they're not going to want to watch your videos when you're promoting things that they don't like or you don't like because it, it's fake so you do really have to think carefully about what opportunities you want to take and what you feel like would be best to decline so when your channel grows even more and you've gained yourself a really good strong a strong following you can also earn money other ways with things like merchandise now merchandise is our smallest percentage of of earnings per month because we try and keep the price of our merchandise as low as possible and some items we earn around 90p on and then the more expensive items of merchandise that we sell we earn between two and three pounds however some youtubers I don't know how they do it I don't know if it's just because they sell so much but some youtubers earn like I'm sure I heard that Logan Paul, like I could be wrong when I say this, but earn something like a million pounds a month just through merchandise sales. Like that is unreal. Like I can't even believe, like I can't even comprehend that amount. But merchandise and apparel, is it called? <laughs> is another way that you can earn money when you're a YouTuber. So basically that's it, that's how you earn money from YouTube. You have to be 100% dedicated. If you want to do YouTube, if it's what you have an interest in, making videos, being creative and uploading and, and sharing your life online and you really want to turn that into something that you can do for a living, something you can do for a job, then you have to be so, so, so determined and so like, have your mind to it 100% because it's not easy it's not easy to start with and it's not easy to build up such such a big community and such a big audience for nothing because that's what you're doing it to doing it for to start with you're not being paid you've got to get that 4,000 hours watch time before you can even think about turning on that monetization button and even when you turn on that monetization button you've got at least another I don't even know, a few hundred videos that you have to put out every single day before you're going to be earning a, a good amount of money for this to become your job. But basically you don't, don't earn them from subscribers, it all comes from your views. That's what it's all about. Anyway guys, I hope this has given you guys a little bit more of an insight into how YouTube works and makes you determined if it's what you want to do. If you set your mind to anything you can achieve it, you just have to be determined and give it everything you've got. I know quite a lot of our viewers have got their SATS tests coming up this week, next week, as of Monday I think they start. So I just want to say to you all a massive, massive, massive good luck. Don't stress, don't worry, don't get anxious because that's not going to help you in your exam. And all you can do is try your best, that's literally all you can do. And as long as you've revised and tried your best, then that's good enough. Be confident and go into that exam saying, I can do this. I'm going out with the girls today to film a super, super, super cool challenge for this channel actually, and then also one for Sassy Bell on Isabel's channel, as well as obviously our daily vlog on our main channel. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely Sunday. The sun's shining right now, so that puts us all in a good mood, right? Also guys, Esme and Isla filmed a super 
cute princess video. Some of you guys may have seen the princess dresses. I uploaded a picture to, was it Twitter or Instagram? But they look so adorable and they filmed a really cute princess video on this channel and it went up, I think it was last night or something like that. So if you haven't checked out that video, go on over there and give them a nice comment because they absolutely love reading their comments and I don't know, they're so young, they see Isabel uploading all the time and they're so proud when they get to upload a video of their own and they love reading through all your lovely comments. So if you haven't checked out that princess video, it's the one just before this, go and show Esme and Isla some love. And I hope whatever you get up to, you love it. And I will see you all again next week for another Sunday with Sarah. Don't forget to comment down below with any ideas on what you would like to see me do. See you soon, guys. Bye. Mwah.